welcome to this new video. I'm excited today because I'm going to teach you something. Um, I want to teach you how to create a backdrop that you um, don't have to pay tons of money like we do at the studio. But this one is little, but it will work if you have product photography or if you have kids at home and you want to take pictures of your kid. Okay, so this is a panel from Lowe's actually that I purchased. It comes all in one, but I had it cut in half. At Lowe's, you can ask them to cut it right there for you. But if you go like Menards or Home Depot, they don't cut it there for you that I know of. I might be wrong, um, but you can cut it yourself. It's really easy to cut, really simple. It's not heavy, okay? So this we use for like one child or if you have two little ones. If you have more kids, maybe you wanna buy two wood panels and cut them in half if you wanted to, and then put one next to each other, one next to each other on the bottom. I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. And we'll put this part on the bottom, and then this part will be on the top, this way, right? And make sure that you secure it to the wall or that you put it in an angle so it won't come up. And Put it next to the other one. Hot truck looks really nice. It's not super big, but it is really nice. It's perfect for a child. And then I will show you what I will decorate it with and show you pictures of my child that I will show you examples. You can either do it with your phone or your nice camera if you have one. Um, and yeah, they turn out really cute. We're testing because my son seems to be a little big for this, <laughs> for this bucket. All right, hold on to the sides, Jay. Okay, and smile for me. Cheese! He likes to say cheese. Look at me, look at me. Cheese! But just at me, don't say cheese. Just look at mama. Just look at mama and smile. perfectly I do have of course lining that I'm using at the studio but if you don't have that I would suggest that you put this backdrop um, four or five degree angle from a natural window from not na from natural light I should say on a window and it will work perfectly for you too so try it and let me know what you think but this is really cheap and then if you needed to do product photography you could also use this even though this is big but it might give you a better area uh, to work with and to add more products to it. So I think this will be great. It's really cheap. It cost me, I think, $21 for one. I hope this is something that you can use and uh, it's something that you like. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and a like or a subscribe. And I will create more videos every week from now on. I know I've been slacking a lot, but this year that is starting, I'm going to start working hard on teaching you how to do things and sharing my trip and sharing my whole story with you guys of how it's to be a photographer in a small town, a full-time photographer. Thank you guys. Have a good week.